大家好 ，Welcome back to Edupedia World Videos. We are now at lesson sixteen, where we'll speak about weather. Okay, as I said, weather is a good topic to talk about when you are meeting with a stranger. You can always talk about weather as a topic of your conversation. So that's why I'm introducing you this topic. And on top of that, we'll talk about some traveling plans because as we talk about weather, we can talk about when should we go traveling. So let's get started. So in this conversation, David and Mary talk about the weather. In Mandarin, it is 大卫和玛丽谈天气 Okay, David first begins the conversation. He asks, "What do you feel about the weather in Beijing?" Da Wei 问，你觉得北京的天气怎么样 ？Mary answers, "Autumn is the best season in Beijing. It is windy in spring." Mary 说。北京的秋天最好，春天经常刮风。David asks again, "How about summer?" 大卫再问，夏天呢 ？So let's pause the conversation for now, and we'll continue on more of it in the next lesson. So now let's look at the new words we have here. So let's decipher the sentence. David and Mary talk about the weather. Da Wei and Mary talk about the weather. Da Wei is David. So you are learning another new English name. So Da, as you have learned, it means big. But of course, in the name of David, it's just borrowing the sound. So the new word here, Wei. It has the meaning of defend. But it's usually combined with other words to mean defend. This is the pinyin wei, and the radical is this one, and the arrangement is simple. So let's look at how to write wei. E, er, san, three strokes for this word wei. And Mary is Ma Li. So ma is this one? It is a type of gemstone, and is usually used in combination with other character. This is the pinyin ma, and the radical is this one. What's on the left there? So the arrangement is horizontal because you have left and right component. So let's look at how to write ma. E, er, san. 四、五、六、七。Seven strokes for this word, Ma. Ma Li is Mary, and we have learned Li in the previous lesson. It means pretty, or it is used in the name Lily, Lily. So Tan, it means chat. It is used as in to hang out or having a chit chat. This is the pinyin tan, and the radical is this one. What's on the left there? Remember, this radical is usually used in speech acts. So as you are speaking, it evolves speech as well. So that's why we are using this word in this context, and the arrangement is horizontal. Because you have left and right component, and for the right component, as you may have noticed, it has top and bottom component. So let's look at how to write tan. E, er, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba, jiu, shi. Ten strokes for this word tan. 天气 means weather, and you have learned about individual words already. 天 is sky, and 气 is like air. 
So when these two are combined, it means weather. So the whole sentence, 大卫和玛丽谈天气 it should be easy enough. It's just to say David and Mary having a chit chat about the weather, which is like to talk about the weather. As simple as that. So after the word tan, it follows a topic that they are discussing, which is the weather. 天气 Okay. Next, David begins the conversation by saying, "What do you think about the weather in Beijing?" 你觉得北京的天气怎么样 As you may have noticed, there are quite a few new words there. So let's look at them one by one. So、the first one is 觉觉 Usually, it means feel, and in some other contexts, it may have other meanings. But in this context, it means feel, and this is a pinyin 觉 and the radical is what's on the bottom there. So the arrangement is vertical, as you have top and bottom components. So let's look at how to write 觉一二三四五六七八九 nine strokes for this word. 觉 to say 觉得 means to feel. So the first three words you should know already. It means you feel. 你觉得北京 If you don't know what Beijing is, it is the capital city of China. So Bei, you have learned it. It means north, and Jing is this word. It means capital city. So you have Beijing, which is a capital city in the north, and we also have Nanjing, another city in China, which means capital city in the south. And in Chinese, we have Dongjing as well, but it is not in China. It is in Japan, Tokyo. Tokyo is known as Dongjing, which is like the capital city in the east. So, but then、uh, we don't have Xijing, so we only have Beijing, Nanjing, and Dongjing. This is the Pinyin Jing, and the radical is what's on the top there. So the arrangement is horizontal. Let's look at how to write Jing. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八 Eight strokes for this word, Jing. So you have learned each word in this sentence already. 你觉得北京的天气怎么样 So. 天气 as you have learned, it is weather. And 怎么样 as you have learned as well, it means how. So the whole sentence, 你觉得北京的天气怎么样 in direct translation, you feel Beijing's weather. How? It sounds a bit broken, but let's decipher it. One by one, and it's easy to understand. Beijing's weather is like Beijing's weather. So, in another word, it is the weather in Beijing. And if you can remember, when we are covering a lesson about adjectives, the way to ask how it is to place 怎么样 at the back of the sentence. In the end, if you want to answer this question, you say, 我觉得北京的天气很好 You are saying that you feel the weather in Beijing is very good. So just to substitute the answer into the question word, so it is just a matter of placing 怎么样 at the back. So that's 
how to construct a sentence that asks for the other's opinion. Mary answers, Autumn is the best season in Beijing. It is windy in spring. It is quite a long sentence and there are quite a few new words as well. But let's look at it one by one. The first one is chiu. Chiu means autumn or fall in some countries. This is the pinyin chiu and the radical is this one, what's on the left there. So the arrangement is horizontal. Let's look at how to write chiu. Yi, er, san, si, wu. 六,七,八,九,nine strokes for this word, 秋,and the next new word is 春, 春 means spring, the spring season, this is the pinyin 春, the radical is what's on the bottom there, so the arrangement is vertical, because you have top and bottom components. Let's look at how to write chun. Yi, er, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba, jiu. Nine strokes for this word, chun. Let's continue looking at the new words. So this one is jing. Jing, it has many different meanings in different contexts. But to say Jing Chang, it means always. So just leave the meaning for now. This is the pinyin Jing, and the radical is what's on the left there. So the arrangement is horizontal because you have left and right component. Let's look at how to write Jing. Yi, er. 三,四,五,六,七,八,eight strokes for this word, Jing. The next one is Gua. It has many different meanings in different contexts, but I'll explain that in a few minutes, what it means when it is combined with other words. This is the pinyin Gua, and the radical is once on the right there. So the arrangement is horizontal because you have left and right components. Here's how to write gua. Yi, er, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba. Eight strokes for this word, gua. And feng is a noun. It means wind. This is the pinyin feng, and the radical is itself. So the arrangement is enclosure. As you can see, what's outside there is wrapping what's inside here. Here's how to write feng. Yi, er, san, si. Four strokes for this word, feng. So Mary says, Beijing de qiu tian zui hao. It means, Beijing's autumn is the best. In other words, it also means autumn is the best in Beijing. And to say Chun Tian Jing Chang Gua Feng, it's like spring always blows with. Gua Feng, it means blowing wind. It means windy. So, Gua feng, it means the wind is blowing. So gua is to describe the motion of blowing wind. So to say chun tian jing chang gua feng is to say spring always blowing wind. So in another words, it means it is very windy in spring. Next one, David asks again, how about summer? Xia tian no? So, xia means summer. This is the pinyin xia. The radical is what's on the bottom there. So, the arrangement is vertical. 
Here's how to write 下 e r 三四五六七八九十十一 Eleven strokes for this word 下 To say 夏天呢 is to ask how about summer. Previously, you have Learn no as to ask where or how about. So, asking 夏天呢 is very similar. It's just to say how about summer. So this is part of the conversation I'm covering for this lesson. So in the next lesson, we'll speak more in depth about weather and also some traveling plans. In this lesson, you have learned all the Chinese words. On top of this slide, and in English, you have learned how to say David, Mary, and Beijing, all the names, and also verbs such as chat and feel. And nouns, you have learned spring, autumn, summer, and when. So thanks for watching. The next lesson, we'll continue our conversations as usual. So you can expand your vocabulary. On weather and traveling plans. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. 谢谢，再见。